To understand why Daniel Webster was able to change the face of government, one must go back a ways, 37 years to be exact, when he married his beloved wife, Sandy, and together they'd raised six beautiful children. They represented the same family values that I had. They wanted to raise a generation of children that were going to be an honest, a caring, compassionate, children with integrity. And so we were striving for that together. As a small business owner running the family air conditioning business, Daniel never imagined he'd step foot in politics until one day he sought a zoning change for his church, which the county denied. At that moment, Daniel knew that sitting on the sidelines was no longer an option. I think uh, Dan Webster, since he's run a small business, he understands the needs of local businessmen, and small business is what makes up America. So he went to Tallahassee, worked hard, listened carefully, and when given the chance, changed the face of government forever. I knew him before he ever went into politics, and I watched him go into politics and never change. The job changed, but he didn't. Dan can reach across the aisle. He knows people, and they know him, and they know where he comes from. Working with Jeb Bush, together they cut taxes, millions in waste, and made the legislature more transparent and accountable than ever before. He was not the kind of person who would let status quo keep him from doing right. He is not out to impress. He's out to do the job that needs to be done. The hard, it's often difficult, but he knows how to get it done. He knows how to work with people, and that's important. And while credited with leading the largest tax cuts in history, what didn't make the headlines was Daniel's unwavering record as a pro-life, pro-Second Amendment conservative. But many of the challenges that faced Jeb and Daniel back then are ones now facing the country today. That's why Daniel Webster had another decision to make. Six months passed. During that six months, we started borrowing $4 billion a day. We turned our back on Israel. And a health care bill that seemed dead at the time passed. And all those things and a whole lot more happened in that six month period of time. And my family began thinking, we've got to do something. We have a small business, but we're going to have a business if we don't do something. And so they all came together at once and said, this is the right thing to do. And two days later, I entered the race. We came to the decision that he should run because as we were going through this uh, process, Washington just kept getting worse and worse. You go to Washington, you are to represent the people and he understands what the people have to deal with on a daily basis. His calling is to say, let somebody step up for us. This community, our community, needs someone to step in and say, I'm here for you. We're missing that. We, I, I really see that we're missing that throughout the country. And I think he's going to bring that. And that's one of the reasons why I want to support him. He's someone that is a genuine person. He's not a politician, he's a statesman. He's a man of integrity. And I think he can go to Washington and make a difference. A principled conservative inspired by Reagan and endorsed by Jeb Bush. Daniel Webster for Congress. America is not broken, Washington is.